Hello, this is Christina Entra with Caldwell Banker Realty Corp here in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go over how to add your showing instructions to your new listing. So once your listing has been published in Trend MLS, from your action category, you can select from the drop down edit showing options. Once you have that selected, you will click the go button and this will pull up your showing time dashboard. Now, once your dashboard has popped up, as long as you want um, showing time to allow appointments through their system, you will select the yes button. And uh, if you want showing agents to be able to request appointments online, which most likely you will, you will select the yes button as well. Next, you have an appointment type. There are different types of appointments. Um, there's an appointment required confirmed with any. So that is if you have multiple owner or occupants and all you need is just a confirmation from one of them, you can choose that option. There is the appointment required confirm with all. That would mean appointment is required and all occupants of the home need to confirm and allow the showing. A courtesy call. It means all appointments will be immediately confirmed, but showing time will call the homeowners or the occupants and let them know that someone will be coming in. Or there is the go and show option, which no one is called. As soon as an appointment is made, they are immediately confirmed and they can go and show the property. The last option is the refer to a listing agent, which would be if the listing agent were going to take all the appointment requests you would select that button. So for today's demonstration, we're gonna do an appointment required confirmed with any. And then the next question, it is allowing overlapping appointments, so allowing more than one agent to show the property at the same time. And we're gonna choose yes, no need to inform them. Because this is pretty common, we can leave it at that. The next thing we're gonna scroll down to is the contacts section. Now as the listing agent, your information will always pre-populate in this category. But in order to add your clients or the owner or occupants, you will want to choose add new owner or occupant. So here I would put in the name of my client who is going to be confirming appointments. And you can select a phone type. If they do have a mobile phone, you can select the use for text message options. So then your, your home homeowners can potentially get texts instead of calls. Once I have the information in, you could also select to add an email. And now we click save. Now we're going to choose to send just an FYI email to the agent. And then for our owner occupants, we're gonna choose what type of message to send them for appointment requests. So we're gonna start with just text message and emails instead of phone calls. And then a notify of confirmed appointment, we're going to choose the same options because say my client works during the day and can't really return calls, but they can text and email, you would choose those options. And if you choose this how will this work button, it will explain that when appointment is made, Christina will be sent an email first, then a text message. Then once it's confirmed, Christina and Lisa, the listing agent, will both be confirmed on the appointment. If I had a second homeowner, I could add the same thing in, add in their first and last name and their phone number and email if they prefer and click save. Now we scroll down to the access information section. This is where we choose how showing agents will get into the property. So say this was a combo lockbox and then you type in the combination. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four. 
And then you do have additional options. If there was an alarm on the house, you could select yes and give all that information. If there are no keys at the house, they're at a remote location, you could put in that information as well. The next part is the showing restrictions section. So if these homeowners need at least two hours notice, we could put that in. Now, if it's a required lead time, that means that even if someone makes an appointment an hour and a half before, they will get denied because they didn't give a full two hours. So typically, you'll want to leave it as a suggested lead time, so then they can still potentially try to make the appointment. You also have the options for sh no showings during, and say there were certain days that definitely could not be showed. We could do a repeating restriction, so if it were every Friday, we would choose the start date and end date, or if there was just a one-time restriction, so if just this coming Saturday, I don't want any showings. You could put that in as well. You also have some other options. Um, the notes for appointment staff are notes that you will leave for the person that's going to be making, trying to make the appointment, so the showing time appointment staff member. And then you also have notes for the showing agent. So here, if we could put information about combo lock on back door, or please turn off all lights at the end of the showing. So any additional notes that we want to give the showing agent. Once we have all of our instructions in, all you have to do is click the Save Changes button, and now your listing instructions have been entered. So that is entering listing instructions within a new listing using showing time appointment desk.